We will be watching two things. We will be watching Min Min. Uh, I would like to watch Protobottom's Min Min to really uh, gauge and see if this character is good or not. First, we will be watching him versus T, which I know, definitely not a resident sleeper of a set, guys. Bear with me here. We will also be watching him versus Zachary in Grand Finals. Two. Min Min is cringe cringe. Oh, yeah. All right, so, I mean, uh, as per usual, I feel the need to always mention it, but I uh, don't know how to feel about Min Min. And she's got to be really good if... Uh, he used her to beat Japan's best, right? I want to see how he deals with air pressure and how he doesn't get gimped. That's crazy that he actually is just not giving Proto a chance. He's scrapping right now. The reach. Oh my. Got to some Wi-Fi level neutral. You see him just triple there for basically no reason. Get away from me. Huh. Oh, we should have forward smashed. Yeah, what a one. If there's one thing I... Uh, think is really funny about Proto is he plays so beyond like simple dude and he makes it work so well. That's not meant to be an insult. It's just actually his level like he, like what he does is so simple. So effective. Oh wow. I feel like you could just play pretty reactionary if you're like coming back to stage. He's not getting these gimps. He needs to work on that spacing a little bit. Oh wow. Okay there's no way you, you just actually decided to land on Min Min. Like that. She's so good when you're above her. Ooh. What the? the bell saved him? Oh, this game is good. Because he already got stunned. You can't get stunned twice at, like when you're in the air. Like in the same air period. He, he's playing like... Like Proto isn't just like throwing out the tilts like most mid would probably do. He's like coming in with a lot of aerials. Well, by aerials I mean air. I think Proto's gonna kind of catch on to the fact that like T takes to the air every single time they're in like a situation where they should engage each other. T should make more of an effort to be directly above. Actually, no, because up smash is a thing. That's interesting, huh? It's like you don't want to be directly above Min Min when you're getting juggled because up smash is a thing. And Nair does start at the top too, so you could get kind of cheesed pretty early percent. And if you don't, then you get forward aired or back aired. And that's a pretty strong move considering uh, the big bowl. That's dead. Whoa! Would you look at that? This video was brought to you by ExpressVPN. ISPs can see every single website that you watch, but with ExpressVPN, you get to control your privacy. And now, only you know what cringe things you watch. ExpressVPN is faster than all of its competitors, so it won't slow you down when you're gaming or you're watching your favorite Mars content. No buffer at all. It's super easy to do, and even a masher like me, like you, could do it with a single click. I use it to uh, watch The Office because that's only on Netflix in the UK right now. But they'll never know it's me because I'm using ExpressVPN. And thanks to me, you can get three months free of ExpressVPN using my URL. That is expressvpn.com forward slash Mars, two S's, or you can just click the link down below in the description. See you in the video. This matchup is cursed, yeah, I'd say. Sick ledge trap, bro. Damn, he sniped him. Drop that. See, I like, I like that Proto just doing one tilt at a time now. He's really good at schmixing it up. He's, uh, he's playing the player. Okay, that, that arm's a little good, huh? Did he have to do that? Why did he recover that route? Oh, I guess, I, maybe he can't side B again. I wouldn't know. I don't know every intricacy of Pac-Man recovery. He is actually just outplaying him. It's not like Min Min garbage. He's just doing better. So I'm never taking this character to FD is what I learned. It's like a bullet hell, but there's very few bullets and it's just hell. Do not be in the corner versus this character. It's kind of one thing I've learned. When she has center stage, it's so scary. Imagine taking the time out of your day to optimize Min Min. See, like, I don't get it. See, now he's not being aggressive. Like, T, you were doing so much better when you were just running it down. Like, I know it's scary to get hit by the arms, but like... If you're not currently in the process of needing to shield anything, then you can make some type of approach. That's how I feel about it. Oh, kill him. Oh, that would have probably killed him, actually. He probably would have been able to do a really simple edge guard after. Yikes. That was really good. So, like, why isn't he going low every single time? What does this character have against low recovery besides, like, getting a good timing on the, the Ram Ram forward smash? If that even two frames. There you go. Wow, that really just killed no questions asked. He needs it. It sucks because it's like, uh, it's a lot of set play. It's a lot of the same interactions happening over and over. And then just like, they throw in an extra option to like, schmix it up. Japan already despises Min Min. They also don't like Pac-Man, so they were probably really excited to watch this. 
See, I mean, he went low, and they're like, okay, Alonso, what was the actual punish for him going low here? Because Proto tried to capitalize. He hit the he hit the side B, obviously. That happened. Well, he also doesn't have a double jump here, so... Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like low should just be the move every time. There you go. He gets the better of every scrap situation. Just get in there, dude. It's a strong hit. See, he didn't get punished for recovering low. He got punished for throwing the bell like an idiot. Because it was obvious. I think T didn't practice this matchup. Nobody practices this matchup because nobody plays this character. Good recovery. Oh, he's going to cheat. Oh, he's going to cheat. Wow, what a frame trap. How would you have avoided that? How, how does a, another player avoid that? I guess directional air dodge in if you see him like actually leaning off stage. It's a tense situation. Last hit in this uh, is pretty cool. What's the move? F tilt. <laughs> wow, that was incredible. Holy. You can barely see it happen, but like, he hits the side B and Pac Man here. He can't side B again, and then he just capitalizes on this. That was a really, really impressive edge guard. Holy. No other character can really contest that because Ram Ram goes at like such a nice little arc for it. You could just hit him from so far. This might be a bad matchup for Pac Man. It's like one like one of maybe two characters who can actually edge guard Pac Man. So yeah, Zach Gray resets here. Boom. Goodbye. And then he's like, yep, I'm going top tiers. This sucks. I, I would imagine that like this character should also just have an easy time edge guarding Min Min here. Hold on, could you could he have worked that edge guard a little better? Just do another forward air. Just follow him off with the forward air. What's it gonna do? Air dodge? He's dead. These people don't know how to edge guard Min Min. You keep hitting her. You smack, 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 smack. That was a really obvious tomahawk or empty hop grab. Really? That straight killed. Okay, it's like point blank. Ooh, watch out. Dude, what, why do people love going high against this character? I don't get it. I guess they don't want to go on ledge, but like, clearly going high is not working. That's big damage. He, damn, he even tried to hit him with the FB. This guy is grimy. He's throwing hitboxes. He's playing right into like the Min Min set play. This is not good. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing really cool happens with Min Min, huh? She just hits you when you're really deep off stage. Which is interesting, because like her offstage game is pretty trash on paper, right? She doesn't have mobility really. She just has big hitboxes. Her double jump's not anything crazy. Her recovery is good, distance-wise. The dragon. You're just giving her big stages. Do you not want to? If if you go Smashville, you'll get to play as Lucille. <laughs> and I'm wondering, like, <clears throat> broken. Is Joker not good here? Let me see. Uh, let me see Leo versus Min Min. I want to see that. This Minmin. I want to see Proto versus Leo. Anyone else? Damn, we caught that air dodge. Dealt 60 all total. I feel like once I start getting hit by Minmin, I'm mashing the jump. You are not getting an air dodge out of me. See, that's what I was saying earlier. Just do these, uh, just smack. Just get out of here. I feel like a lot of the decisions that I'm seeing from the other players playing against this Minmin are really influenced from the fact that they don't know what Minmin can do and what areas she can like cover. And I'll be honest, if I play against a Minmin, I'm probably gonna look like this. I'm probably gonna look like an idiot until I figure it out. Unfortunately, this is doable if Proto uh, kills him. Oh, well. It's gonna happen. Oh, farewell. It looks like Proto would rather go Minmin. He doesn't counterpick to play Lucina. He just, oh my. It's only because he got a grab. Hold on, let me see. Okay, so that wasn't a true combo, but... I don't like that. I really don't. <laughs> Safe shield pressure. Ability to kill early. Pretty good neutral. I, better than I expected. Character might be good, guys. Since this would actually die at zero there. Nah, I don't think she would get hit. Min Min goes under the cringe category, and ZSS does really well against cringe characters, so... That was so good. He, he uh... This is like a juggle situation. He just, instead of like deciding to go for a big punish, he just did a reaction dash tag. It's the discipline. He knows he's in a position to win the game, but he's like, no, I'm just gonna play it safe. Like, I'm just gonna get you back off stage and get an even better position to get this kill. Wow. I think Min Min's a show to. Oh, sh here we go again. Min Min has to have some type of corny shield break setup, right? Where you shield like her Nair or something and then good games. So good, so good. What a what a great like presence off stage. 
ability to actually edge guard, read air dodges, etc. He's a, he's definitely the best min min. I don't think there is a discussion right there. I've seen like I think what Pink Fresh plays min min right now. I don't know any other min min players, but he is the best. He, not close. Ooh. Whiff for the boys. Don't let it be you. He's so scared, man. Like I naturally though, because like you could you could just die. Even if this kills, it doesn't matter. I mean, even worse, it didn't. I didn't think it would matter, but uh, Zachary is apparently one of the most different players out there. Nice up B. Holy crap! That was so smart! Yeah, see, he doesn't have a jump here, so it's basically a 50-50 of whether or not he goes for ledge or he goes for the platform here. And, like, instead of taking the 50-50, he just delays it with the up B here. Which is so good, and then he can just... He, he's like, has a tempo in his favor now. He can pick whatever he wants. It's the micro decisions that make you win. So good. The timing was really good because if he stayed on ledge, the, the dragon hit him. And if he didn't normal get up, the watt hit him. And honestly, that probably covered jump get up too. It's it's because Zachary stalled to see if he would do anything. And he tried to play a reaction base and he got punished for it. It was really good.